gonna be a good day. So you're the O'Driscoll, huh? I'm the fellow tied to the tree, so I guess I must be. Yeah, I've met some of your boys before. Oh, yeah? Good morning, Arthur. You must be hungry. Like you wouldn't believe. Well, I'll leave this here then. In the dirt. Where those other O'Driscolls left my husband. Oh. oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there it seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue i was thinking mr williamson could have a word you ready to talk boy <laughs> i told you mister i told all of you i don't know nothing okay they ain't no friends of mine i just been ridden with them for a Horse while shit. you see we heard that part so how about you tell the truth that's what you want me to do hurt him so the next time he opens his mouth it is to tell us what is going on ah uh, <laughs> who am i kidding one of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Leave me alone. What are you doing, Jack? <sighs> Throwing rocks at the old Driscoll? Why? Because he's an old Driscoll. <sighs> Yo, he said that was bad. Leave him alone. <sighs> Go on, away with you. <laughs> but you said... Get away with you. But leave the rock throwing to the grown-ups. <sighs> hey, nice throw, Jack. Thanks. Karen. Huh? What, Arthur? At least the horses like you. I know. You might be of some use after all. I guess. Hey, you okay, Miss Karen? Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Uh, Who ain't? The boys around here. Tell him he's fine, Arthur. You ain't fine, boy. Watch yourself. <laughs> Ignore Arthur. He's only teasing. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the mostly I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. One of us now. Let me tell you. Old Comb O'Driscoll. He's a rotten fella. Not you as well. It's not Comb. <laughs> Comb. <laughs> It's Colum. In Ireland, we say Colum. Well, uh, he likes Colm. He's American. <laughs> oh, he's Irish. Just look at his name. Just a dumb Irish bastard who can't pronounce his own name. <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. Call him O'Driscoll. Say it now. He likes Colm. And you like breeding. So say Colum. Properly. Call him. That's better, boy. That's better. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, come over here. Come over here, O'Driscoll. You know, I ain't no O'Driscoll. <laughs> Our old neighbor back in Donegal was called O'Driscoll. We couldn't stand him, neither. You want some, big man? Don't annoy me, boy. Ah.
Karen. There you. Hello, Mr. Arthur. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. Not this again. I told her it wouldn't make much of a meal. Would you please leave me alone? I wouldn't sleep too deep if I was you. Get away from me! Hold still! Pearson said he's short a little meat for Don't the pie! Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! <laughs> Oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. Come on. Okay, Miss Castle. Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fool. But, um, <laughs> I'm well, watching you. Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. Hey, O'Driscoll, I reckon you must be in the wrong camp. Not now, Arthur. Oh, I forgot. You sold them out to save your own skin. Come on, that's enough. You're our boot boy now. Get away from me. So, what's your story, boy? Um, uh, horses. Horses? How do you mean, horses? Or, uh, I, I used to work with horses when I was a little boy. Uh, my pa came over from Ireland. Uh, he got sick and died. My ma got sick and died. It was cholera. And after that, I was all alone, and the stables where I worked threw me out. I was living in the West. Uh, we had traveled out there because uh, Pa thought he could become a farmer. In California. We never made it to California. I joined the army, but uh, that didn't work out well. And then I fell in with some outlaws. They got killed, and I fell in with the O'Driscolls. They gave me a choice ride with them or die. So, <laughs> wasn't much of a choice. Now, I'm in with you. And all I know is folks all seem to die. Mm. I still love horses. You'll always have the horses, Kieran. I know where I am with them. Well, go do some work then. Miss Abigail, I just want to say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Jack. And I saw some of those Braithwaite fellers. I had no idea. I thought it was a business matter. I know Arthur and Hosea had had dealings with them. Didn't seem serious. And I don't know anybody who would kidnap a boy. I feel like a fool. I would gladly give my life for his. Not that it matters or that it works that way. But I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that. Oh, Driscoll boy. Hey. Just try to stay calm. I am calm. It's gonna work out.
Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me?